Hey everyone, welcome back to Three Dogs in an RV. My name is Stuart. Melissa. And you'll never guess where we are right now. Can you tell by the, yeah, we're on the side of an interstate somewhere, but did this give you a hint, Missy? Georgia, Georgia. I think that's how the song goes, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, we're in Georgia. And we weren't planning to be here today, no. but it's Saturday and we looked at the weather forecast. So we'll put the weather forecast right here for Crossfield or Crossville. Cross for Crossville, and you notice something? By Friday, the low is 27 degrees. Yeah. And it's in the 30s for lows all week. So us Floridians decided to get the heck out of Dodge and head south. So right now we're at the Georgia Welcome Center on Interstate 75. We just crossed into Georgia from Tennessee, and we're heading to, we're gonna try to find a, a home for tonight, somewhere on this side of Atlanta, because Missy's only got 88 miles of power left on our electric car and uh, and then uh, we'll get up in the morning and go through Atlanta on a Sunday morning before it gets too crazy early early notice how she says early uh, and uh, and then we'll get to we're gonna stay at the, the Forsyth KOA in uh, Joseph side of Macon uh, for the week and then make our way to St. Augustine so yeah we're in Georgia right now we're on our way to uh, somewhere we don't know where the joys of uh, flying by the seat of our pants we're gonna go yes. research some places to go and uh, we'll get back to you. So this is an episode of Three Dogs in an RV, and here's our cool intro music. All right, so our uh, quick get up and go this morning from Crossville, here's the weather coming up. That's, uh, you gotta take that stuff seriously. Cold is cold. You know, when it gets into the 30s, make sure, make, yeah, it just makes it unenjoyable. And it's raining and it's, you know, it's so, we decided to pack up and go, uh, get, get it, get further south as possible into a little bit warmer weather. It's not 100% that warm right now, but it's better than it was. So we're gonna, we're gonna, I think we're gonna hit up a harvest host tonight. I'm not 100% sure if I wanna go there. It's a distillery in Dalton. We'll see when we get there. We're gonna back on our road here and uh, start heading toward uh, Dalton, Georgia, because Missy needs to get some uh, juice for the EV. We're gonna get back in the rig and drive to uh, Dalton, Georgia, and probably just hunker down there for the night. All right, everyone, welcome to Calhoun, Georgia. We decided to park here for the night. We got a pretty level spot here for level could be for our, um, for our rig here. Went around with the manual level and uh, guess what? Hey, pretty level. Bubble, the bubble was in the middle, which is what you always hope for when you come to a parking spot. Anyway, we're parked here for the night. We're gonna go get, uh, we're gonna go get some juice for the bolt. I think I call it lightning. Lightning. I have to come up with a name for the rig still. If you uh, know a good name for our rig, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Anyway, we're parked here at the Cracker Barrel, one of my favorite uh, spots to camp for the night. I uh, went and checked in with the manager. No problem. Park where we are. Everything's good. We're uh, got the generator running for the night, and uh, we got the bedroom slide out. We're not. We're gonna leave the rest of it, so we're gonna be living in Skinny House tonight. Uh, we're about uh, 50 miles north of Georgia, I think, or north of Atlanta. Uh, Missy wants to get up early in the morning and beat the Atlanta traffic on a Sunday, so we're gonna get up. Go, we're gonna go charge up Lightning, the, the Chevy Bolt here, and we're gonna go get. Uh, we're gonna get some dinner, and then uh, settle in for the night, and then uh, get up in the morning and make our way to. Uh, Beautiful Macon, Georgia, or Forsyth KOA outside of Macon, and happy to be in a little bit nicer, warmer weather, although it's still drizzly and wet here. Uh, at least it's a little warmer, so we don't have to worry about freezing um, tonight uh, or this week, hopefully, and uh, that we did in Crossville. Anyway, we're gonna go and uh, grab some juice for lightning right here, and then we're gonna go get some juice for myself. All right, so we're at the uh, Calhoun Outlet Mall here and the EV charging station is at the outlet mall so uh, guess where my lovely wife is she's in there shopping every excuse to shop so she need actually she needs some sweatpants so you know this lifestyle shorts sweatpants t-shirts it's all you really need you don't need anything more anyway it's kind of drizzly day now we made a little bit of a discovery when we pulled into the cracker barrel we we found more water in our hydraulic bay on our coat so we cleaned it up we put um at the recommendation of one of the group members for our Thor Facebook group, we uh, put some uh, eighth inch or quarter inch uh, rubber seal tape along the door. Uh, hopefully that will stop it. If that doesn't stop it, then I think the water may be coming in from the wheel well, 
we'll see what tomorrow is like. I'm not sure what the weather's like. I haven't checked yet. We'll check the weather for Georgia and put it right here. Um, but uh, yeah, we haven't checked the weather, but we'll see what it's like. Anyway, we're here in Calhoun, Georgia for the night, uh, parked at the uh, Cracker Barrel. Love Cracker Barrels. Did I say that already? Yeah, I think we did. Anyway, Missy didn't shop and we're waiting for lightning to charge up at the EVGO fast charger. One hour from zero to full, which is great. So we're just uh, walking around the Elton Mall here, trying to not spend all our money. So uh, let's go see what we can get into. Hey everyone. Okay, so Missy and I are in Forsyth, Georgia. Yeah. Missy, why don't you explain to our great people who are watching our YouTube channel why we're here. Because it was going to be damn cold in Crossville, Tennessee. Yeah, it was. 27, I think we talked about that. Uh, earlier in the video, I showed the weather forecast for Crossville. Yeah. And it was uh, it was gonna be darn cold. We're staying at the KOA Journey, just uh, on the other side of the highway. The sun is shining. And look at that, the sun is shining and look, blue sky. Beautiful out. Yeah, it's, it's 66 oh, degrees. It, you couldn't ask for better weather right now. Well, you could, but it's, I'll take 66 over rain. Yeah. So we're gonna go and check out this place called Georgia Bob's Barbecue and have some lunch, because I'm pretty hungry, because all I had today was uh, Denny's at the, at, at, oh, uh, was that like eight o'clock? No, it was no. We left. It was early. So we left Calhoun. At we six. drove through Atlanta. Yeah. And we got to uh, I don't know twenty miles north of here, and we parked there at the Flying J. Uh, we're here. We're gonna go and check out George Bob's, and we're gonna show you some of the scenery of around Forte. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting little town here. So. Yeah. All right, let's go and uh, go check out some of the scenery. All right, so uh, what do you think so far? I think it's gonna be good. Looks like it's gonna be good. Good, yeah. great hospitality for sure. Yeah. And a really good buffalo wing sauce here. Looks like a classy uh, little barbecue place. And this lovely lady can take care of us. So this is great old. Georgia hospitality. We got a sample of the smoke, you know, the pulled pork to try out. Mm -hmm. Missy, give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. piece now. Mm -hmm. I had too much pulled pork when we were in South Carolina. So mm. it's hard to eat now. But it is good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely coming back for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely come back for some pulled pork. All right, so our food arrived. So I got ribs and some beans and some Brunswick mm -hmm. stew. That looks good. That was highly recommended. Missy got some turkey with some coleslaw and mac and cheese. And garlic so toast. We're going to dig in here and um, we're still waiting for our wings to arrive. So. <laughs> We'll, uh, yeah, time to eat. So I guess Georgia Bob's was the Georgia Championship September 12, 2012 on the Barbecue Pitmasters. So that's, uh, that's why it's so good. So yeah, this is awesome. I love it, it was good barbecue. All right, Missy, we had our feast at Georgia oh Bob's gosh. Barbecue. Stuffed. And okay, so. Uh, we couldn't eat we, it all. We eat, <laughs> we eat a lot of barbecue restaurants, no, 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 nothing new to people to follow our channel. Mm -hmm. We were at the Flying Pig in Crossville the other day. We went to Lefties, Lefties in Crossville. Yeah. We had some barbecue in Nashville, I do believe, right? With uh, Don and yeah. uh, Don yeah. and Brian. Yeah. All right. Here's your moment of truth. Where do you rate Georgia Bob's with all the barbecue places that you've been at? That's a hard one because I had different things at each one. But the question was, where do you rank this amongst all your bar barbecue places? Well, they had the best mac and, that, you know, and cheese because that's a consistent consistent thing that I had in you, we, you know, ranking in things like the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, har the dinosaur. Har hard eight in Dallas. Oh. We're ranking all okay. the barbecue places that hard we've been to. Hard eight in Dallas. I had the turkey there and it was amazing. That's what made me like mm -hmm. turkey. Mm -hmm. This turkey was good. Not not amazing? Not amazing. Like but good day. though. But really good. Really good. Yeah, yeah. This one was up there. I would come back definitely. Definitely gonna we come back. We will come back. We will come back. Well. Hopefully we can come back this week. Maybe not. I'm. I want to really start eating at home. I know. But uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Um, a little bit on the pricey side. Yeah. But good barbecue ain't good cheap. Good barbecue. 
and cheap barbecue ain't good. Yes. So take that for what it's worth. Yeah. But yeah, I ranked that up there. I, you know, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna put that in my top. Kiss in my top five. Wow. I'm not gonna put it in my top five, but it's kiss in the top five. Okay. So definitely, but definitely in all of Georgia. This is a franchise, but it's only franchised in the in, in middle Georgia area. Yeah. Um, and so it was good. It was good. It was good. I would kind of stay away from big chain barbecue places. Uh, we went to that Mission one. Was it Mission Barbecue? Oh, Mission, really yeah, Mission Barbecue in Canton was really good yeah, too. Yeah, that, yeah. So maybe okay, I'll retract that statement. Yeah. So, I'm but I definitely that, definitely kiss in my it kisses my top five. Okay. Awesome. So. Pretty darn good because I eat a lot of barbecue. Yes. So, all right, we're gonna take you around, show you some of the sites around the uh, Foresight, Georgia, because the sun is out and it looks. It is, looking down, looking down the street, looks like they have some classic kind of architecture here. So yeah. let's we'll go take a quick drive around and show you the the sights and sound the sights of Foresight, Georgia. All right, Missy, you'll never guess in a million years where we're at right now. Well, or the people. I know where the we are. The people on our video won't uh, guess. Oh, they'll guess. No, they'll guess. Yeah. Yeah. But cool. We're here at the Walmart in the background here in Forsyth, Georgia. And the Walmart here has Electrify America uh, rapid charging 300 kilowatt, 350 kilowatt chargers here. So we might as well, for 16 cents a minute, we might as well charge the car while we're shopping at Walmart. Yeah. Why, why not? Right? It makes sense. All right, so we're going to go and uh, we're going to go to Walmart. Back to Walmart. <laughs> hey, everyone, well, we're back here on Three Dogs in an RV. It is now, what, Tuesday of our week here in Fourth. Is it Tuesday? Is it only Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Oh my yeah. God, it seems like Thursday. It's Tuesday here in our week in Forsyth, Georgia. And uh, we're here downtown. We just had uh, dinner at the French Market and Tavern, a little cute uh, little restaurant here downtown. And you can see the building behind us, one of the uh, okay, it's one of the downtown buildings. It's uh, kind of that, you know, it's got that, you know what it's got that Southern kind of look. Mm -hmm. Well, we can cross the road and see exactly what, what, it, is. Fine, what, it, what is. it is. What it is. But this place here, the French Market and Tavern, we found it on Google. It had four flaming stars. It was actually Cajun and Creole food. Yeah. It was good. It was really good, yeah. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. I had the jambalaya. Yeah. And you had the uh, chicken? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. I did Stewart's uh, fried chicken. So. It was good. We're going to take a little walk around uh, Forsyth here. Kind of go around this block here and check. Well, it's going to be dark soon, so we'll catch uh, we'll catch it a little bit before it gets too dark. Yeah. Okay, now we're going. It's <laughs> the fourth house. Beautiful though. Oh my god, I'd like to go inside, but it's not as close now. Do you want to go inside and be on trial or you just want to no, go inside? No, I want to go inside and look at it because oh. it looks very uh, historic. Because I can make sure you go on trial and just have oh, to stab me and you. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you insist. Yeah, it's a nice looking building. So it's, it's a it's a it's a quaint southern town, right? It is. Tacos and tequila. Tacos and tequila. All right, it's uh, our tour of Middle Georgia continues. <laughs> yes. So, Missy, why don't you explain uh, where we're at right now? 
We're in a little town called Juliet. And what is famous for Juliet? Well, what, let what me is Juliet fam What is Juliet, Georgia, famous for? There was a movie called Fried Green Tomatoes. Yes. yes. I don't know anything about it, but I'll take your word for it. I didn't see the movie, but it was filmed right here. In this place right here. At the Whistle Stop Cafe. Here in Juliet, Georgia. Actually, you gotta you gotta show the whole little town here because it's really cute. Well, you know, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm going to yeah. Annoying. Don't you love just don't love her way Annoying. she way she acts Annoying. to me? Like I gotta put up with this all day. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna take you for a little tour of Juliet, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the uh, the famous restaurant from Fry Green Tomatoes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's closed today, so. We're gonna come here and have dinner, but I guess it's closed it's today. It even says fried green tomatoes served hot. I don't know what I I don't think I've ever had fried green tomatoes, but it's definitely closed. There's nobody inside, so yeah. Yeah, it's a cute little uh, town. Looks like everything's closed. Everything is closed. <laughs> Good day to go. Yeah, that's part of the antique store. It's very cute though. Got nothing shop. Got got nothing shop. Ain't got nothing shop. Oil paint oil paintings and. Knives, batons, pepper spray. Oh, yeah. There's a whistle stop there. I guess that's part of the movie too, right? I guess so. And yeah, we maybe we'll have to watch this movie now. We might have to. There's a, an old bank, Ooh, but it looks like it might be a gift shop. It looks like it's a gift shop now, yeah. Whistle stop cafe gift shop. Yeah. Here's the sheriff's office and the courthouse and then we have the bakery house. This must have been done up for the, for the movie. For the movie. Things were open so we could show you. Uh, Pennington's Pillar to Post, like they have uh, pecans. Ooh, pecans. Mexican Post. Oh, God loves some Mexican Post. Albums, books, things, coffee, all kinds of things. Yeah. It has cottage, it has uh, Burt's Bees and a bunch of handcrafted gifts. Both for honey. Mm hmm. I don't know what that one is, but. Another probably little gift shop, probably. Yeah. It's cute. All right, but nothing's open. No. <laughs> So I think we'll wrap up uh, this um, edition of mm -hmm. Three Dogs in RV coming to you from Middle Georgia. Right now we're in Juliet, Georgia, and we spent uh, a few days in Forsyth, Georgia. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button below, the alarm bell, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of these videos. We're trying to make them fun and entertaining, but uh, and also informative and let you know cool yeah. things that we go to. Yeah. So hope you enjoyed our uh, tour of Middle Georgia, and we're going to hit the road tomorrow. We're on our way to. Oh, there's a car coming. We gotta get out of the way. Uh, just stand, well, I, stand, stand here. <laughs> she doesn't want to get hit by a car. No, I don't. Anyway, tomorrow we're on our way to Freightliner to get finally, finally get our TPMS system hooked up, and then we're off our off to Savannah, and and so that's Lower Georgia, and then we're going to uh, hit uh, eventually hit St. Augustine. So watch out for our next edition of Three Dogs in an RV. We'll be in. Um, We'll probably start tomorrow at the at the at the Freightliner shop in uh, Macon, Georgia, and then we'll make our way over to Savannah and eventually St. Augustine. So make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment. Comment in the flag behind us here, <laughs> and uh, and make sure uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to us and make we'll uh, make sure we keep producing this great content for you. My name's Stuart Missy, and this is Three Dogs in an RV. Stewie, hit the music, everyone. Uh -huh.